Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. I am Moose78 and this is my ATS Let's Play series, Stories in the Road. Upload this twice a week. Hope you guys are doing well today. And if this is your first time watching, welcome and thanks for stopping in. Be sure to take a look around the channel and consider subscribing. But we're here at Walter in Sacramento, California, picking up a contractor run and I am back in the company truck. The Colada 579, picking up the Colada Wallbash. I haven't used this combination for quite a while, just whether I'm just you know, playing the game or uh, recording content. So I wanted to break it back out today. Let's go ahead and get backed up and uh, get started. I know we're heading over to Ely, Nevada, but uh, once we get all hooked up, we'll get all the specific details and all that good stuff. Now let's go ahead and pull up. Trailer brakes are working good. Yeah, just love the way this combo looks, though. It's nice and clean, matches really well. Don't want to nick that wall, so let's back up just a little bit. We definitely got that uh, pup trailer cleared, so we're good there. There we go. There we go. Now we just got uh, 22,000 pounds of office supplies going over to Plaster and Sons or an Ely. So nice, lightweight little run. Got all fueled up, rested up before we started, so we're good there. Now wait for that pickup truck, I guess. Or SUV or whatever it is. Have that sign up there, don't mess with the internet. And I'm pretty sure I think I finally got the SKRS sorted out. I'll put a link to a video down in the description uh, that they sent me several weeks back. I, I don't want to go into seven yet. I think I posted it uh, a while back there when I was having some issues with it, but I'll post that again. And that uh, problem that they described in that video is the exact problem I was having. Had to take it apart after I got done recording the last episode. And there's a magnet that's on the high-low switch that, for whatever reason, it seems like it's causing interference with the uh, range splitter. Like I said, I think I got it all sorted out. able to uh, shift gears again without any issues. And off we go. 
but I'll also put the link to that HTML5 gamepad tester. That way, if you're having a similar issue, you can just check and see if the switches are working like they're supposed to or if they're not working. And it's just a nice little troubleshooting uh, utility. Better back my speed down just a little bit since we still are in California. Set the cruise right there at 58 and we are good to go. gets over we'll move over for these guys pick up a little bit of speed so we can get up the hill here Yeah, next episode I'll get back into a different truck, uh, different trailer equipment, all that good stuff. Really enjoyed using that uh, Cat CT660. I think it was pretty neat. So I definitely want to use that some more. I've not had a whole lot of time to sit down and mod anything, so still no update on the utility. But that shouldn't take me too long to uh, kind of sort that out because I should just be able to grab some uh, definition files from the utility pack that's out on Steam and just copy and paste those into uh, the one that I released a few weeks back there and it should be good to go. So hopefully maybe after I get done uh, recording this today I'll sit down and kind of mess around with that a little bit. I did try to sit down and sort out my uh, W900. I got to, if you go back and watch the last video, couple of videos I did with the W900, you'll notice the hood's kind of painted kind of goofy. I just got to go back and redo the mapping on the hood and get all that sorted out. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. But uh, like I said, I've just not had a whole lot of time to sit down and mod stuff because I've been focusing more on getting content up for you guys. Hopefully Friday. I can uh, get some LSPDFR content up. I think I got everything all sorted out uh, for the game crashes. Just got to sit down and test that out a little bit more. And I'm always checking to see uh, if there's any mod updates and stuff like that. Okay, maybe those guys aren't as going as slow as I thought. Looks like I was catching up to them pretty quick. This run over to Ely's one of my favorite runs. Uh oh, we got a cop back there. Going well below the speed limit, sir. Now we finally caught this prime driver. Yeah, don't want to go barrel around the curve too fast. Too fast. Blah, 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 blah. And we ain't going to be able to stop over there. Sorry. Not sorry. Just the senior and everything, I just love it. And of course, the MHA map spices it up quite a bit. Really liking the last update to that. And still, uh, I've not seen or really heard anything of you guys have. Uh, leave a comment down below, but I've not really heard anything about the map rescaled for a few weeks now. 
I know they've been updating their blog quite a bit with some stuff, you know, kind of here and there about, uh, you know, some behind the scenes stuff that they're doing, uh, some events they've been going to and uh, things like that, which is good. But uh, not really seeing anything on the rescale per se. I'm get over, get over, get over. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. A little bit closer than I care for right there. No doubt about it. I'm just uh, ready for it and uh, excited for it. Don't, don't do anything crazy. There we go. This thing's not that heavy. It should be pulling this no problem. Clear to merge. We're up to speed so we can turn our four ways off. Man, just look at the sky though. Look over there at the kind of off to the right there, those mountains and everything. It's just Man, this looks so good. I'm just excited for the rescale, though, because they did such a good job with uh, Arizona and especially the northern part of Nevada here really curious to see what they have in store for us. I still think they're going to drop a pretty big uh, pretty big uh, bombshell on us when that thing releases. Hopefully it's just not, uh, you know, the three states that we have. You know, hopefully they uh, give us some additional states, uh, some additional trucks. I don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be very pleased with the rescale. But I don't know, I just got a hunch that uh, we're going to get a little bit more than that. We shall see, though. The game just looks really good right now, though. Got the sunset back there behind us. Drop back down low. That's some different road textures there. That's pretty nice. over there at the truck stop. I love what uh, the MHA guys do with uh, their truck stops and stuff like that. They usually have them pretty well populated. Makes it a little bit more realistic and uh, just a lot more immersive. I turn my force feet back down quite a bit here on the G27 and uh, kind of like it. I 
I don't think it came through on the last video, but, uh, and why is the cruise not wanting to set? Ah, because I still have the Jake brake on. There we go. And right about the time I get it set, we have an exit coming up. So we'll hop over here. Take it nice and easy down the hill. There we go. Speedy McSpeederson. I like the engine sound uh, that I'm using as well. It's off the Steam Workshop. It's the ISX straight pipe sound. Be sure to check it out. It sounds really good. Definitely like there's a I definitely like there we go. Definitely like uh that there's a lot of good mods out on the Steam Workshop. A lot of good engine sounds, uh some skins, trailer models, truck models. Really glad that's taken off as well as it has. traffic out here so we'll throw the brights on so I can see where I'm going because you know that's kind of important I guess so I don't really recall traveling on this road before so I'm gonna assume that it's part of the MHA map could be a part of the stock map and I just, you know, forgot. That's very well possible, but I think this is part of the MHA map because up there is Fallon. They're taking our picture. And I keep leaving the uh, Jake break off. It's not extremely loud, so I keep forgetting that it's on. to uh, the G27 wheel. So I don't have to keep reaching down with the keyboard. Might as well just leave that low, I guess. Shoot. This is a nice change of pace, though, getting out on the toolies, driving around the middle of the night. So it 
town we got coming up now? The one where I need to turn my brights off again. Austin. I think that's another new town on the MAJ map. I know Fallon's been on it for a while, but I'd, uh, I don't recall Austin. What are you doing, you chucklehead? Now, luckily, I can catch a... Uh, looks like it's a lot better going this way anyway than just kind of taking that little frontage road. I will say the AI knock on wood has been behaving a little bit better the last few episodes. Not really had any incidents, so... Now that I've said that, like, 27 cars are going to spawn right in front of me just because. Reasons. I ain't got to say, this has been a nice little run. traffic to deal with. Just us in the open road. keep going along and just wait for some curves or something to pop up. Still doing good on fuel, so no issues there. doing just about six miles to the gallon, so not bad. Got him a flat better pull it over back there. No bueno. That's a nice thing about the contractor runs. You really don't have to worry about speeding tickets a whole lot because you're governed uh, 65.
There's the curves. Looks like we are getting close to the destination. Yeah, nice run. SKRS to shift to normal again, so yeah, I will take it. So I don't see anything coming. And this car is gonna do it. Yep. Even though we had the right of way there, they kind of sped, sped in front of us, which is okay, I guess. No one was harmed in the incident. Here we are at Plaster and Sons. And these are typically pretty easy to back into, so we'll just go ahead and go for that one. And I usually find it a whole lot easier just to uh, kind of drive around the building and everything. Oh shoot, that's different. I wonder. Hmm. I was kind of wondering because as I, you know, pulled up there, seeing that container sitting in there, that's typically where uh, they have you drop off at. But as you can see, that's where we need to drop this off at. So I don't know if I'm going to have to back in there or if I can just pull straight through. Either way, that's, you know, easy peasy. Clear the door pretty easily, so we're good there. Yeah, this is cool. 
I have never dropped a trailer inside the building before, so that's pretty cool. up a little bit just so we can get all decoupled and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, pretty good run for us there. No issues. SKRS worked fine. Right on. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stories from the Road. If you liked today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch and, of course, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around and consider doing so now. But, guys, until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.